you live over to our transmitter site in Lantana. That's where WPTV News Channel 5 Chief Engineer Dave McKinley and his team are making those last minute preparations. So Dave, give us a behind the scenes tour of what's going to happen on your end. Well, it's pretty simple. We're just basically going to throw a switch and over on this panel, we'll just, at 545, we're going to turn it off and that will end it. A little anticlimactic at that point, but uh, we've had an analog signal on the air here since, I believe, 1954. This transmitter we've had on the air since 1999, so it's served us well for the last 10 years, and we've been running a crawl on this channel for about the last 30 days to let people know if you're seeing this crawl, please call in and we'll help you get set up on a new uh, digital converter box so that you'll see our digital signal. And that's part of a two-stage process we're going to go through this morning. One is to shut off our analog, but we're also unique in the fact that we're changing our digital home as well. We're right now on a UHF channel, and we'll be transitioning also to a new digital transmitter that will put us on the VHF channel. So the, the most important message this morning for folks is not only is analog going away, but to make sure that they rescan after 5.45 this morning so they'll pick up our new digital home for our, our broadcast on 5.1 and 5.2. All right, Dave, thanks. We're going to be sticking around with you, too, throughout the morning at our transmitter, Dave McKinley, our chief engineer. Now the time is now 5.43, and the time has finally arrived. We're now going to make a final switch to all digital programming. Our vice president and general manager, Steve Wasserman, is here this morning, along with several other important staff members to make all of this happen in just a minute and 10 seconds. But probably the most important person of the moment is WPTV chief engineer Dave McKinley. He's live at our transmitter site in Lantana, where this switch is about to take place. He will be making the final switch. And without further ado, Dave, good morning. Take it away. Tell us and show us what's going to happen that will make West Palm Beach and WPTV television history. Okay, Rox, thank you. Yeah, this is kind of like sitting here on top of Apollo 11, I guess, waiting for the launch. So we'll try to make this a little bit exciting for you. Uh, first of all, this is our brand new state-of-the-art uh, VHF transmitter that will be our new digital home. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on now because it takes a little bit for it to get up to speed. And then we're going to walk over and we're going to shut down our current digital UHF channel. And then the moment we've all been waiting for it, in just about 45 seconds, we'll shut down the uh, analog channel and we'll, uh, we'll be all set to go. So we'll go ahead and turn this guy on. This is our new digital transmitter. And Tom's focused on here. We'll see the power will begin to start coming up on this transmitter. It takes it a few seconds. Got a lot of systems in here that got to come up to speed. And as that power comes up, we'll be all set. So we'll go ahead and walk on over now. You can see the power coming up now. We're almost up to 100%. And we'll go ahead and walk on over now and turn off our, our old uh, UHF digital channel. Now this is a point where people will have to go and do their rescan because if they're currently watching us over the air on digital, they're probably looking at our UHF channel. And so don't be at home for all the people. You're going to find out here in a moment whether you're ready or not for your rescan. So we're going to go ahead and go down to half power now. And we've now killed one cabinet. So we're now down at half power on our UHF. And now we're going to go ahead and turn off the rest of it. So if you lose our signal now, you'll need to do your rescan and you'll get us back. So we've now shut down our UHF channel. And now we're going to go over for the moment we've been anticipating for several years. And I'm not sure how much history we can make here. But we've had this signal on the air in the Palm Beaches for over 50 years. And we're coming up right at 545 right now. So. We'll do a little countdown here. We'll go five, four, three, two, one, and we are off the air on analog. So people now seeing snow, well, they do figure out that they have a problem and hopefully they'll call our number and they wrote that down. All right, Dave. So hopefully that was exciting for you guys. It was fun here. <laughs> well, sure. We've all seen a lot of the behind the scenes technology for the first time ever as we've made this first time this historic switch as well. Thank you, Dave McKinley, for the time and for the walkthrough and the nice explanation. But no doubt many people right now are saying, uh-oh, what just happened?
Well, as we've been telling you all morning, we are counting down the switch to digital TV. You're probably wondering where we are right now. We are in the engineering department at our station here on Rice Avenue. I'm joined now by our chief engineer, Mr. Fred Bobey. Fred, good morning to you. Good morning. Break it down for us. What does that, what does this mean? We're switching to digital. We're ending the era of analog broadcasting, which is uh, nationwide, but it's going to be here in Lima. We're the last uh, analog station to go off the air full power analog to go off the air in Lima. And why did the FCC kind of mandate this for all stations across the country? Uh, the FCC's idea was to bring more programming to viewers and also uh, be able to have more efficient ways of transmitting programs. With analog, this old transmitter can only do one program. With digital, you can do up to four programs on one transmitter. And we're standing actually in front of the transmitter, the yeah. analog transmitter? Yeah, this is the original uh, WLIO channel 35 transmitter from the last 38 years. So, Fred, what are you going to be doing exactly at 7 o'clock this morning? Well, at 7 o'clock, we're going to reach up here. We're going to press this little green button, which says high voltage off. At that point, the whole transmitter will drop off the air. Drop off the air. Okay. Yeah. Now, for folks at home who haven't gotten that converter box yet, they still have time to do so. They need to get on it, though, because what, what are we going to be seeing at 7 o'clock if you receive um, our signal as we call it, over the air. If you're over the air, what you're going to see is uh, our picture, and as soon as I hit the button, you're going to see snow, just nothing. Okay. And if you dial around this morning on most of the analog stations, they're all gone now. But satellite and cable, if you have that at home, you should be okay. If you have cable, yes. Talk to me a little bit about this uh, this, this analog transmitter. Mm -hmm. 30 years old, I mean, is this going to be in a museum someday? Well, it's 24 feet by 24 feet by 12 feet high, and uh, the technology is, is quite extensive. Yeah, open her up here. Let's see. These are the power tubes. So one of the power tubes here for the uh, visual. The one that you're standing in front of is the audio side. And we have uh, the exciters back here, a whole rack of equipment over here. So, I mean, this is uh, quite an extensive old transmitter. This tube starts down at this point and ends up here. And as you can see from the voltage, we're running about 19,000 volts here just to make the power to go out to the viewers. And so what will the, what will the new technology, I guess, look like? It's not going to be in this big machine type thing. Oh, no. No, the new, the new transmitter, which we're going on the air with, is about the size of a refrigerator. Okay. Much smaller. Much smaller. I want to give out a couple of uh, numbers and websites that people can go to okay. if they have a questions today. For more information, we want you to log on to WLIO.com. You can also go to WLIO.net for answers. Another number that you can call is 1-888-CALL-FCC. We're told they have about 4,000 or so um, uh, operators standing by to take your calls. Also, we're going to be talking more about what this means in terms of signal strength and mm -hmm. for our viewers in our next half hour. Fred, we kind of want to leave you alone because we know you've got to get busy soon. you got to get ready to shut it down. Exciting day, though. Very historic. Thank you. Thanks, Fred. And we're back after these messages. Stay with us. We've made our way back to our engineering department here as we are counting down minutes really now in our switch to our digital signal. We're joined by the general manager of NBC Lima and all of your hometown stations, Mr. Bruce Opperman. Bruce, good morning to you. Good morning, Lindsay. People want to know how is this affecting them and really it will in terms of our signal strength. Can you talk a little bit uh, about that? Well, it, it's going to improve our, our signal strength without a doubt. Uh, the thing our viewers have to remember is that we're no longer going to be on channel 35 once we throw the switch here in just the next few minutes. We're going to be on a VHF channel, channel 8, so, uh, which will also uh, you know, allow us to go out further than what our present UHF uh, uh, signal was going. Uh, people have to remember that they, they're not going to be able to use that same UHF antenna. Right. They have to have a VHF antenna to get our channels 8. 0.18 uh, and 8.1, 8.2. You have kind of a diagram over here, just kind of demonstrating how uh, the signal strength. Yeah, this is this is our new uh, coverage map. Uh, the inner circle being uh, our current coverage area, approximate coverage area with our UHF signal, and the outer uh, red line is the area that we'll be uh, that we'll be covering now with our new uh, uh, analog signal. You know it. 
the signals go out a lot further than sometimes they're even shown on the map there because we've had calls from people in southern Michigan and as far down as uh, into Shelby County and Miami County down south. The point is we're reaching more people. We'll be reaching more people without question, yes. Bruce, can we walk through the converter box? This is for people who get our signal as it's called over the air. That means if you don't have satellite or you don't have a, a cable provider. That's right. We We've heard a lot of talk about converter boxes. It's no big monstrous box or anything like that that people have to go out and get. This is what the converter box looks like. And it's got areas where they're color coded and you put the red plug into the red hole and the green into the green and the blue into the blue. And these can be had at any number of TV stores, TV outlets uh, in our community. Uh, and uh, that's what and the, the remote control that goes with it. So. Easy as matching the colors. Exactly. You know, Bruce, a lot of people are comparing this as kind of a uh, historic day as when we went from black and white TV to color television. Do you see it as being historic? Oh, I absolutely do without question. And, and my career has actually spanned black and white to color and now to, uh, to the digital and high definition. And I think it's going to be as dramatic uh, as the black and white, uh, from black and white to color. Uh, as Fred mentioned earlier, that it allows stations the opportunity in the same amount or less bandwidth to put up to three or four stations, whereas before with the UHF channel, we just had allowed to have one, one channel of programming. You know, Bruce, people are, are going to have questions today. They're going to have some questions about, is about what is all happening. Um, we've got people manning the phones here at our station, right? That's right. We, uh, hey, from the very beginning, years ago, we have been mandated by the commission to do steps, you know, A, B, C, D, and by the book. And we have done that here at, uh, at WLIO. And we will have people on, on staff today that will be answering phones up until the close of business at 5 o'clock. Then over the weekend, if you call, you'll be given a prompt uh, where to go to and, and the numbers that you can call, uh, including a national number that is being staffed, as you said earlier. Certainly. If that's not enough, we'll give you those uh, websites right now. You can go to our website, WLIO.com, for more information, also WLIO.net. The number to call the FCC is 1-888-CALL-FCC, and they have about 4,000 operators standing by this morning. Right. We're going to be checking in with the engineering department one more time this morning as we count down to digital. For now, though, we're back after these messages. Well, we've all made our way to the engineering department. Now we're joined by our chief engineer, once again, Fred Vovey. Fred, uh, what does this mean? Just drive it home for us. Folks who have antennas, what will happen in the next two minutes or so? If you've been watching uh, TV 35 for the last 40 years or so, 50 years, more than that, uh, on uh, the TV, you've been watching on UHF. We're now a VHF station. So you have to have a VHF antenna to receive Channel 8 digital. You should be uh, getting your converter box. Mm -hmm. Show us one more time. It's just as easy, really, as uh, connecting the colors to uh, the back of the box there. Very simple little box. Just sits on top of the TV. There's a connection on the back uh, where you can plug in your antenna and uh, the, the video and audio jacks. And that's pretty much it. Do a scan, and you'll pick up all your local stations. Bruce, we're just moments away now from witnessing history, I see. Oh, it's, it is a momentous occasion. and, and uh, um, I've been here for the entire time. It's been a great place to be and it's been a great industry to be in. And we thank all of you guys for allowing us to come and be on your show this morning. It's, it's early, great. isn't it? It's, <laughs> it's very early, much earlier than I'm normally accustomed to, yeah. Okay, we're getting ready to uh, press the magic button. All right. Tell us what you're going to be doing here, Fred. Well, we're going to take a final set of meter readings on the transmitter and that will be it. So you're signing off, essentially. Okay. Let's do a here we countdown. Go. Three. Two, Two, one. one. Goodbye, Channel 35. What this means, folks, if you're seeing us now, you're good to go. And if not, I'm sorry to tell you, but uh, thanks for waking up with us this morning and have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday. Today exclusive, Alaska Governor Sarah Palin speaks out about that feud with David Letterman.